Ronnie O'Sullivan has never played in the Six Reds World Championship before. I get the feeling this format will suit him, though. He's up against Jimmy Robertson, the world number 26. There's always, Joe, a sense of anticipation in any event when Ronnie plays. Yeah, it's always exciting, isn't it? Even for us who have seen him many, many times. What a great opening pot from Jimmy. Any game of snooker suits Ronnie O'Sullivan, but it's a little bit of a leveller, six reds, because right. when the 15 reds are on the table, he's a master at working the reds for big breaks. Still, maybe, this red is on. Wow. Now, that's unfortunate. He didn't know where the cue ball was going because it was going into the black. Oh, that's another great pot. And listen to the crowd. They absolutely love him. And why wouldn't they? and had a chance but he wasn't quite on the easy red straight red to the left corner had to take the more difficult red yeah his third ranking title success was actually here so that was his first ranking event outside the UK Already 21 22. in front, so not that much more to do here to win the opening frame. 23. Yeah, he made absolutely sure of that yellow. Didn't put any side on to try and get to the green. He knew that yellow left Jimmy Robertson needing snookers. This is this is the danger, isn't it, in six reds? If you don't take your initial chance, you don't get another one. Body two. Oh, delightful positional shot. Not taking the black, doesn't need to. Well, Jimmy Robertson, of course, had the first chance, but it's O'Sullivan who leads 1-0. Well, Robertson was in first. He just fractionally failed to get on one red. He potted another, went in off. So O'Sullivan stepped in and that was that. Because he has won... The Hong Kong Masters in front of a huge crowd and he won the Champion of Champions as well, which is a massive tournament. Well, another safety mistake from Jimmy. And the Reds, look at the Reds, if, if he does pot this. And it was right in the middle. And he's on the black. Could be a maximum. A six reds maximum, but it's called 75 before everyone gets too excited. Looks like he's been playing an hour, doesn't it, already? I mean, he knocked in a terrific red for his opening pot in the last frame. And like most great players, and he's the greatest, we seem to start well. 33. That's frame ball already for 2-0. Yeah, dead right there, David. He has worked it out that this table is a little slower. And he's made the adjustment. It wasn't a problem at all. It 
looking to establish a new modern day record of eight world titles. What do you know? His strength of mind is incredible and he'll put the work in. There's no doubt about that. He wants that eighth title. Well, we saw the extraordinary scenes when he won his seventh last year. It's amazing. It's come around so quickly. But right now, this is the Six Reds World Championship. <laughs> Didn't get on the black, so there we are. 64 will do nicely. Great start for O'Sullivan, and he's only three away from claiming his first point in this group. He's breaking off in frame three. And didn't really get near it. Doesn't want the kiss. Another good opening pot on that cue ball. It's going to hold up for one of the ball killers. Those two reds have gone close to the right side cushion. So it does need a little bit of work here. Taking the yellow will probably mean that it needs the remaining five reds. Three. Four. Uh, he could bring the red off the side cushion here if he wants to. He doesn't need to because if he can take big colours, he won't need that red. 11. Well, 17 in front, he will need all three. Yeah, 17. he will. Afternoon. Left a nice angle on the black to drop him behind that red. Riggled in. And as you would expect, getting lots of encouragement from the crowd. Trying to leave an angle on the black to bring that red into play. And that looks just about perfect. Didn't go according to plan. 33. So he's taking it on, I think. Lonnie O'Sullivan, 33. Well, that's the first ball he's missed. It wasn't an easy one either. That's what makes this game so exciting because <clears throat> unless you get them all, your opponent is still in with a chance, even though you may have potted five reds previous. It does need at least a pink with this red though, Jimmy Robertson. So a chance here to play a good safety. Try and put Ronnie O'Sullivan in some trouble. Yeah, just got it past the middle pocket. Yeah, showing respect to Jimmy Robertson. Although, <coughs> hasn't hit that red hard enough. He would need pink or black off the red. <coughs> Very good pot. One. But as you say, this is a good chance. Oh, it wriggled in, but he's on the yellow. Well, the form O'Sullivan has already shown. Jimmy Robertson will uh, know he's just got to take this to stand any chance, really. Had very little table time, though. No.
Six ten. He has won a ranking event. Yes, he's a former 51. European Masters champion. So pink and black. Oh, he, well, there's a kick, I think. And now he's left this rather nasty pot on the black with the rest. Thin cut. Oh, just made it that little bit more difficult, didn't it? Well, he's not lost the frame yet, but that's a bit of a sickener for Jimmy Robertson, poised to make a good clearance. That didn't go according to plan. But still, this is a difficult pot. Second attempt at the black to win his first frame. He's not going to get away with this one, I don't think. No, so a very different frame to the first two, but it looks like the same result. In goes the black, and Ronnie O'Sullivan leads 3-0. And already he's only two frames away from victory. 3-0 to him. Yeah, Jimmy got in with a great red, didn't he? Dropped it in, dead weight, finished on the pink. That he was going to make the clearance till he got that kick. Uh, look at that for a pot. What a great shot. Can't roll up behind a colour, don't forget. Can't afford to do that. New rules for six reds. One. Yeah, there was just a little bit of movement there as he took his shot and caught the reds thick and he'd have preferred to have gone in off. Well, exactly. So O'Sullivan presented with another golden chance. One. And the bad news for Robertson as well is, you know, he's got his business head on. I mean, he could have maybe taken the brown on when he potted that red, but no. Played the safety, has earned the chance to make it 4-0. Yeah. So he is going to need that red that's near the left side cushion. But it's enough away from the cushion for him to pot it down the cushion. Doesn't need to try and bring it into play. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Yeah, not quite hard enough on the blue to get back to the red. The green is in the way if he takes the pink. So this frame not over yet. Well, it's a bit like the last frame, isn't it? Where it came down to the last red and he took on a difficult part, didn't get it. Oh, oh, brilliant. <laughs> He's got that one. I mean, that's such good queuing, isn't it? He's in a mean mood, isn't he? That's a terrific pot on the red. Yeah, and 4-0 coming 36. up. 38. Jimmy Robertson stays in his chair as another frame goes by. So Ronnie O'Sullivan needing just one more for victory now. It's 4-0 to the Rocket. And remember, it goes firstly on, you get a point for a win, but then it can go on frames as well. So 5-0 obviously is the perfect result in all senses. And it is on. Caught it a bit too thin, but the cue ball... I thought it was going to finish behind the green. Oh, this is a big shot. He's taking on straight red. Just off straight to the corner. Ooh, he came across that one. And he's been very fortunate there. 
if you can get away with the ones you make, then obviously the, the task is even more difficult for Jimmy Robertson. So, another chance for Jimmy. Although, two reds on the side cushion. It's not, you wouldn't say it's a frame winning chance. One. Now, does the red pass the pink into the left corner? I think it may. That's confirmation yeah. it does. He had a very good season last season. He got to the semi-finals of the Players' Championship. and It's only the top 16 for the season that get in that, so it shows you it was a good campaign. Not quite so good this season. Well, 4-0 down to Ronnie O'Sullivan. There's pressure on this. Nicely done. Yeah, excellent pot. He takes big colours here. He won't need that safe red, so it was good thinking of him. To have brought that red into play. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Can afford to take the blue as long as he gets a black or a pink off the last red. Yeah, I think he's a tough character, Jimmy Roberts. So can get a lot closer. He's taken this one, it would seem. Well, still only one snooker, isn't it? And we saw earlier this morning that that can be achieved. 37. So you can just drop this in the middle. Then he's won his first frame. It's not going to be a whitewash. And as I say, you know, this frame could be very significant tomorrow. O'Sullivan's favourite to win the group, but there's two places available. Forty-five. Play some nice stuff in this frame. Yeah, that was particularly good. All that side on the cue ball to get to the green judged it well. Fifty-two. Fifty-seven. Not his favourite ball, that pink, but it doesn't matter because he's won the frame with that 57. So Jimmy Robertson is on the scoreboard. It's now 4-1. Yeah, good break. And caught them much too thick. So... Jimmy's going to get an early chance. Normally, players miss the Reds first time round just to get the angle. And then try and hit them perfect the time after. Great chance in his hands. Six. Seven. Recovery. It was missable that black. 14. 15. So after this blue, if he can take two blacks, there'd be 36 in it, and he wouldn't need the safe red behind the pink. Surrender. Surrender one. I think he's got the angle on the black just to stun up for the red. Well, he's going to bring that other red into play now, but he's not ideal on this red. And there's pressure on it. If he misses it, he could be out. Good pot. And again, not ideally on the green. Well, he didn't want that in. <laughs> Yeah. 
ิมีโลกสันเตติทูFortunate there, that double kiss. Well, the only good thing about that, he hasn't left the red on. Fully expect him to win the frame. He's done well there, though. Could be in trouble next shot, mind. Big trouble. Be a free ball. Well, it's a tough pot, but I've got a feeling he'll be going for it. And it could have gone worse. It's worth having a go at this red. Only needs the red. Good pot. Yeah, and a nice cheer there as it went in. Yeah, you can't roll up to the <laughs> to the nominated ball. Not quite. Should have made sure of the yellow. That would have only needed two snookers. This is looking good. Just. Too hard. Cue ball back down the table, unless he's seen something different. In goes the yellow, so it's looking like Robertson's frame. And as I say, even if he doesn't win the match, the frames he's winning in the match can count towards the final standings in the group. Playing no Sullivan first, it may be a good thing. You don't want to be playing him last, needing to get something out of it. If he can win his last two matches, Jimmy Robertson, then every chance he'll be in the last 16. Ah, he's starting to enjoy the match. <laughs> he was 4-0 down and struggling, but... He's won the next two. 4 2 to Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's still one away from victory. And then we'll have our last 16 lineup. Yeah, that's what makes it so exciting the six reds. <clears throat> one. And he's unfortunate there. But he can stun in behind the green, but got to be careful here. Yeah, good shot. Well, it's a great attempt to try and land up to that red. I think he's a little slow again. He got the line better this time. If he misses twice more, he'll be told that a fifth miss and Jimmy Robertson could have ball in hand. He could put the cue ball anywhere. So this is attempt number three. Is it hard enough? Is it hard enough? He's got the line. Is it hard enough? Oh, great attempt. What a fantastic escape that was from Ronnie O'Sullivan. And they really enjoyed that one, as I did. Just a sense, though, that Robertson now has, you know, got his teeth into this match. Well, 
That could have been the winner had it gone in. Now this red to the right corner is on. That was a really good chance for Jimmy. I fancied him for the red. Can O'Sullivan find a good one? He can't. Another chance for Jimmy Robertson. If it goes in, every chance of winning the frame. Making it 4-3. Pressure on it though. Yeah, there was pressure on it because he knows that if he misses something, leaves it on, the frame's there and match. Another brilliant shot from O'Sullivan and he's on the green or yellow. One. Not necessarily that motivated, but he's been talking this event up for several weeks. Clearly wants to be here. Yeah, and this time it's... Oh. And Sullivan, that misjudges the pace. Misjudged it by a long way, actually. Oh. Yeah, so the, the great start he made, the uh, he's not been able to maintain that. Jimmy Robertson has to start sensing an opportunity here. This match could have been over by now. One. Needs to keep running. And he's played that one well. Six. Seven. Eleven. Twelve. Well, that's not a bad angle on the pink to try and drop him behind his red. need the red it needs to keep running well he may need the rest now and it's missable with the rest yeah, can you reach it yeah he should be okay yeah so the comeback is definitely on now and he's been helped by the fact O'Sullivan has started to make mistakes which he wasn't doing in the first two frames 24 26. Just shows how quickly under this format a match can turn round. So Robertson has grown stronger. O'Sullivan has started to make a few mistakes and the match has narrowed considerably. It was 4 0. It's now 4 3. It's another one of those shots. He's knocked in two or three of these already. And there goes another one. Very difficult shots they are. One. Slightly thicker and it would have been a gimme. Got to get it, hasn't he? That's the point. You know, where the reds are. So this is his chance to get it won. Five. Six. So the red that's just behind the pink could be safe. But if he takes big colours with these reds, he won't need it. 14. Well, he got in with a terrific red, 21. thin cut to the corner. 22. Another red and a black should seem safe, or at the snooker's required say, stage anyway. One snooker required.
What a clever way to play the snooker. Didn't play the double there. Tried to get that cue ball in behind the black. Yep, only one snooker. Again, terrific picture that. Saw the cue ball just turn. Ronnie would like to see something safe and that's a very dangerous shot to play. It looks like he, he may have got away with it. in a sense. Well, that's it. <laughs> well, it's a sort of typical entertaining way to win it. So O'Sullivan, he was pushed, but he has responded. He's played a good last frame. He's got his first point on the board. Surprise if he didn't. Bye. Jimmy Bye. Robertson, and he has won three frames in this match, which, as I say, could make a difference in the table. Bye. Where every place in the world, Ronnie O'Sullivan has brought a big crowd, and I think they will have enjoyed what they've seen. Maybe not that shot, but, yeah, <laughs> but he's over the line safely with a 5 3 victory. Big cheer here in Thailand for the seven times. World champion playing six red snooker for the first time with a 5-3 victory over Jimmy Robertson. Mm -hmm.